All right, all right. Welcome back to Eyes Open Media. Brother John here. Hope you guys are doing well. Okay, so I did a video about Tom Brady and the Buccaneers, uh, you know, man, a couple of months ago. And uh, when he made the decision to go to the Bucks, Bucks were one of my teams that I taught that I told you guys that he was going to go to. Um, it just made sense to go there. They have a lot of weapons and things like that. Um, and I even said that wouldn't it be crazy if. Uh, Tom Brady goes back to the Super Bowl with the Buccaneers and then maybe faces the New England Patriots or the Kansas City Chiefs in a Super Bowl. Like the NFL would love to see something like that. Um, but it, you know, and, and so, you know, as I sat back and got some more information and, 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 and uh, looking at what the elites are looking at and things like that. And looking at the occultic numbers and things, uh, you know, what I'm being told is uh, Tom Brady can no, cannot go back to the Super Bowl. Tom Brady cannot even go back to an NFC Championship game. And I was like, and, and because of his occultic numbers are so perfect. If Tom Brady goes back to a uh, NFC Championship game or if he goes back to a Super Bowl, he ruins his occultic numbers. Right, so he's got six wins. He's got six Super Bowls, which we all know six is the the highest satanic number. Six, 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 six. Right, the man of the uh, the the per, uh, the the mark of the beast, whatever you want to call it. Uh, okay, so six is a uh, satanic number, and he's he has his six rings. He's got six rings, and he's got three losses. That's another high-ranking demonic number is three. So he has six rings and three losses, okay? So uh, it, it's really hard for him to, uh, and, and look, that's kind of interesting because doesn't LeBron James have three wins, not three uh, rings and six losses, <laughs> right? Doesn't LeBron have six finals losses and three rings? Isn't that interesting? Okay. Now, if LeBron James wins a ring this year, right, then that will put him at four and six, meaning LeBron James is going to need to get to six rings and six. That means six rings, meaning six wins and six losses. He's going to need to go six for six. You know, so if LeBron, if you see LeBron James win another ring this year, that means the Lakers are going to three-peat. Because LeBron James is then going to need to get to six rings with six losses. Okay? This is how the occultic numbers work. If LeBron James doesn't win any more rings, then he has three, right? And two from Miami, one from Cleveland. He has three rings, and he has six losses. And then that will be that will be it for LeBron. That will be his legacy. Um I remember LeBron said something very clear to us. He said, "I have nothing else to prove," and and one and people thought that was really strange. Maybe he was saying that because his occultic numbers are complete um, with the rings, six rings, uh, six uh, six losses, three rings, unless something has switched and they are allowing him to go for six rings and he'll go six for six. Okay, Tom Brady has six rings and three losses. If they allow Tom Brady to go back to the Super Bowl, that means Tom Brady needs to go back to the Super Bowl two more times to get to six losses. That means Tom Brady will lose three more Super Bowls. I don't think Tom Brady wants to even do that. Tom Brady will settle for not even making it to the NFC Championship game instead, <laughs> right? So in my opinion, so he, so he doesn't mess up his greatness and his numbers. Six rings. Three losses in the Super Bowl, occultic numbers, right? And so Tom Brady, I'm not sure how many times Tom Brady's been to the uh, NFC Championship game, but I'll I'll uh, I'll guess it's 13 times, maybe. <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, where some of those he didn't win uh, to get to Super Bowl. I know he lost to Baltimore and some other. He well, he's been nine, we know that because he went to the Super Bowl. They won nine of them, so to get to the Super Bowl, but I, he might have three or four losses on there as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, so Tom, so what I'm being told is Tom Brady, because of his occultic numbers being so perfect, Tom Brady cannot go back to an NFC championship game or the Super Bowl, regardless of when, if he's on Tampa Bay. So that's what I'm being told. That doesn't mean that's going to happen though. That doesn't mean it's going to happen. Now, 
Tom Brady has a loaded team on offense. But that doesn't mean you're going to win. Cowboys had a loaded team on offense as well. And they put up all these offensive numbers. They didn't win, right? So because you have a loaded team doesn't mean you're going to win, right? Uh, they can make mistakes at the wrong time. You can turn the ball over at the wrong time. Your defense might give up 30 points in 20 minutes. You know what I mean? Like, So there's always ways to lose even with a loaded offense. Loaded offenses usually don't win anyways, right? It's teams that are balanced, teams that can run the ball, run the clock out, and and convert on third downs, right? And play strong defense, top 10 defense. Those are teams that win Super Bowls, right? Special teams also play a factor in that as well. Now, one of the things that I believe that could happen is Tom Brady uh, and the Bucks could come out, you know, maybe, maybe they'll come out soaring and looking good and everything will be fine. And then, uh-oh, Tom Brady has come down with the virus. You see how that, you see how that, you know what I mean? So, so uh, right going into this, going into the playoffs, Tom, breaking news, Tom Brady has the virus. And Tom Brady's laughing because he knows he doesn't have it. But be, to keep his occultic numbers uh, uh, secured, they might say Tom Brady has the virus. Right, and he cannot know he can't play in the playoffs. Oh no, Tom Brady has come down with the virus. He cannot play in the playoffs because you got you got two weeks of quarantine, right? And so Tom Brady doesn't, and then they lose, right? And in the, in the maybe the first round or the second round of the playoffs because Tom Brady is under quarantine, and, so, and Tom Brady's like, shoot, man, we we had a great year. Let's come back next year and. Uh, Try again. It's unfortunate I came down with the virus. I'm feeling good though, but you know, I came down with virus, right? And so that will mess it up. And then they're going to need another excuse next year to make sure Tom Brady stays at six rings and three uh, losses and keeps his occultic numbers and divisional titles and things like that. So Tom Brady's numbers are perfect for the occults, uh, for, the, for the occultic numbers. So they don't want to mess that up. That's what I'm being told. I, look, if things can change, of course, and uh, if Tom Brady defies those uh, those odds and uh, and defies the boulet and and the uh, occultic numbers, uh, there will be punishment, of course. Um, I even, remember I even told you guys that Robert Kraft was going to be punished for what uh, what he did, and I also said that Bill Belichick was going to be punished for for what he did to uh, Malcolm Butler, right? Um, and so uh, I also told you that Malcolm Butler was going to be punished <laughs> for what he did and, and robbing the Super Bowl, you know, <laughs> picking that, making that pick in the Super Bowl. And he did get punished, right? He didn't play in the, in the other Super Bowl against the Eagles, and they lost that Super Bowl. So um, there is punishment for, for not obeying. Um, so let's see what Tom Brady does because, you know, Tom Brady mentally might be like, yo, I'm, I'm ready to win a Super Bowl. But he knows the occultic numbers. He knows that he cannot win another Super Bowl. And they're telling him, you're not going to win another Super Bowl. You, you act like you're going to win another Super Bowl, but we're going to make sure you come down with something and uh, you, you don't participate. <laughs> okay. So uh, that that's the latest I've got on that. So if you guys, I know some of you guys said, man, Tom Brady versus the uh, Kansas City Chiefs in the Super Bowl, that would be awesome. Yes, it would. It would be awesome. And I hope I hope Tom Brady just says that. You know, screw y'all. Screw y'all and your occultic numbers and your satanic numbers. I'm going to the Super Bowl to face the Kansas City Chiefs. Or I'm going to the Super Bowl to face Cam Newton and the New England Patriots. You know what I mean? Like, Or I'm going to the Super Bowl to face the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson, man. Let, let, let's go. You know what I mean? Um, but there will be severe consequences to that, and he knows that. So we'll see how this all goes. That doesn't mean that it can't happen. Uh, it's just what I'm being told. I wanted to give you guys an update on that. Uh, Tom Brady, can. It, it, he's being told to, he cannot, because of his occultic numbers, he cannot go to the Super Bowl, and he cannot go to a, the NFC Championship game. All right? So, and uh, they might not even allow him to win the division because of, his, because of his occultic numbers with the division. They might let the Saints win the division, and then they'll come in second. Okay? But they, they can still go to the playoffs, right? They'll still probably make the playoffs, and maybe they'll play in the first round, and then Tom Brady might come up with some type of sickness, might have the virus, and he can't play or something like that. They'll they'll make up, they'll find somewhere to get it done. But that's what I'm being told. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, let's watch the Lakers. 
because if LeBron James does win his championship this year, even though the elites are saying the Clippers are going to win, but if if uh, if uh, LeBron does win, uh, I, I I hate you know I, I I try not to go with the elites. You know what I mean? Like I know they got big money in on the Clippers and stuff, but I hope LeBron wins. I, I'm a LeBron fan, right? Even though I know he's a Illuminati puppet, but uh, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a LeBron Lakers fan, so I hope the Lakers win. But uh, if he does win, then that means they will three peat. Okay, because he has to get to six then. Okay, because he's he can't just leave with four. I know I know Shaq left with four, which was really weird, and a lot of people were like, it was weird that Shaq left with four. Maybe you can, maybe you can leave with four. I don't know. I mean, the the numbers won't add up though. Four wins and six six uh, losses. That's ten. That is, there's there's no occultic in there. How many losses does Shaq have? Shaq had how many uh, losses in the play in the um. Did he have, I mean, he got five wins. He has four wins and uh, four rings and how many losses? He lost in Orlando to the, uh, to Houston. Okay. He got swept in that one. Uh, and then he uh, lost with the Lakers to Detroit. Is that it? He, so he's, well, guess what? That's six, isn't it? <laughs> so four, four wins. And two losses equals the number six, right? So there's your occult number right there. Okay, so Shaq got another one. He got four rings and two losses in the finals, I believe, right? And so that's six. So there's Shaquille O'Neal's occultic numbers for those that were wondering about that. He he did get his six. All right, so Le LeBron James has three and, and six. So he's already at his occultic numbers. So if they tell him he can't do anything else with that, then LeBron James is not going to win another title. So that means the Lakers won't win. That means the Clippers or the Bucks are going to win the championship. Okay. Um, if they tell LeBron he can't win, if LeBron says no, screw you, I'm going to win and I'm going to go to six, then we, uh, then there needs to be another. Most likely, blood sacrifices must be must uh, be happening. So we're gonna hear something about somebody in LeBron's camp or somebody in LeBron's family have um, mysteriously passed away or tragically passed away by gun violence or something like that will happen. If LeBron wants to go to uh, get that six ring, he's going to need to do most likely a blood sacrifice because his numbers are perfect right now at three and six. Tom Brady's numbers are perfect right now at six and three. All right, so peace out. God bless. And uh, yeah, that's what it is right now. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That's the update that I got. I'll add you. Eyes open. Uh, oh, matter of fact, somebody's going to ask me who you think is going to win Super Bowl then. I don't know yet. I don't. I really don't know that until after the preseason, because then I get to judge and, and see what the uh, the occulted uh, stuff is coming out. Right now, the occultic stuff is all about you know Black Lives Matter and and uh, things like that. So we, I, I'm still looking at that to see who's actually going to win the Super Bowl or who's going to be in the Super Bowl. So uh, or what type of uh, what type of uh, symbolism they're, they're they're trying to do for this year. So it's kind of up in the air right now because it's so much stuff about the Black Lives Matter and COVID stuff. So we got to wait till the, there's no preseason games this year, by the way. So we got to just wait and see how that all plays out. Peace out. God bless. Eyes open. Bye.